he was driving his Lamborghini, I believe it was, uh, about 119 miles an hour, and he had another car, a rental car, another speed car, um, and I believe it was the uh, kid that was suspended from SMU. Was, uh, I guess it was an old friend of his because he went to SMU, and they wound up getting into a big accident. Uh, seven, uh, seven people were injured in the accident. Uh, they left the scene. They they walked out of the car and left the scene, and uh, and I think they left the scene because uh, it, it appears that there was pot in, in in the car, so they were probably stoned. And they knew that if they would have gotten tested, they would have been in big trouble. So they just left. They completely bolted. Um, there was even a mother with kids that they just didn't even care to check on. Uh, now, they're in a situation where now the, the SMU suspended their player. Of course they did. Uh, but Kansas City is basically waiting for the, 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 the NFL, of course. They're not going to do anything, even though I think they should. I mean, the fact that Kansas City's sitting back and just leaving it to the NFL, that's gutless. Complete, that's just gutless. To suspend, you have all the right in the world to suspend a kid. And if the union wants to get involved and have a battle with the union, because it would be a PR nightmare for the, for, the, for, the, for the union if they were to back Rasheed Rice in the situation. So right now the NFL is going to end up uh, deciding what to do because the case is going to be in late Jan- – uh, I think it, it might be in uh, late December, early December. So what they're saying is is the NFL is going to wait and see what happens, which means that chances are he's not going to get suspended this year. And then one of the ESPNs, I think it was uh, Chris Fowler, said, well, if they go by the what we've seen before, like Alvin Kamara, if they use that as an example, they'll probably just suspend him in 2025 for the first three games of the season. Now, maybe that happens, but how this kid is not suspended for the entire year, I, I just, I don't care what, we, they needed people to die in the accident for him to be suspended for the year? For the year, yeah, nobody died. That's, that, that's exactly what I was going to say to you. Yeah. If somebody had died, they'd get a year suspension. So, I mean, right, come nobody on. Did, he, I'd, be, I'd be stunned if he gets more than three years. Yeah. By the way, one of the other things that I was a little bit annoyed at was the fact that they were asking, they were talking to Rice about the whole situation. I think the exact quote was, I feel like our chemistry is going to continue to grow. I feel like it's been growing throughout the offseason, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then they ask him, you know, to try to say something about what happened. Well, it's a legal process and my team is handling that. So it's like, dude, you know, just shut up. All right. Don't, don't talk about the NF. Don't talk about your team chemistry and football when you basically almost killed seven people. I mean, just be humble and shut your mouth. Just say, don't talk about anything. Because you sound like an idiot when you. Because just imagine if you're one of the one of those uh, family members that was involved in the accident, and this guy's talking about football. It's just, I mean, that, that's why he needs to grow up. And the only way that you grow up, as we know, is you pan, is you punish these kids. So um, we'll see what happens. But I think we all agree he's not going to get punished severely enough. 